I want you to open your Bible to Joshua chapter 4. Joshua chapter 4 and uh, go to verse 18 please. And it came to pass when the priests that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord were come up out of the midst of Jordan and the soles of the priest's feet were lifted up unto the dry land that the waters of Jordan returned unto their place and flowed over all his banks as they did before. One more time, we're going to read verse 18. And it came, let's read together. And it came to pass when the priests that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord were come up out of the midst of Jordan and the souls of the priests were lifted up unto the dry land that the waters of Jordan returned unto their place and flowed over all his banks as they did before as they did before as they okay this is something a story we've heard many times before God is looking at his people that are facing a Jordan in front of them. There is a hindrance. There is a very threatening river. This river is overflowing its banks, its floods. And the river is threatening them from moving forward. The river says, I shall not let you cross. The river is now functioning as the principality. He's saying, I have been flowing here from beginning of time. Even before you were born, I have been here. Even before your father met your mother, I have been here. Before your grandfather was born, I have been here. So the river Jordan is now functioning like a principality saying I shall not allow you to cross and if you attempt at crossing it's not just that I will stop you from crossing I will destroy your life. I will take your life. So there is great risk. Israelites are standing before great danger and in the midst of that great danger God has a solution to the people of God what was the solution the solution God gave is a Joshua the solution for this event this challenge is that you need to find a group of Levites you have to find those that are set apart and you need to ask them to enter into the Jordan you need to ask them to enter into the Jordan what if I told you this is God's manner of dealing with anything that stops you anything that stops you there is a reason why Jesus when he was facing the waters in front of him he does not stand there crying instead he walks forward and what does he do he walks about that which drowned many people the solution of God when there is something that is threatening to destroy you God is looking at them and said, the way you will function as a God, the way you will function as a superior being, 
the way you will function in supernatural life of faith is you will look at a river like that and you don't stay you walk right into it that is the manner of god something is threatening you you don't run away you walk right into it are you following what i'm saying yes. do you know this is what god wanted israelites to do in the beginning in the book of exodus god did not want moses to stretch the rod he wanted first for them to walk into it he said why are you cry ask the people to go forward and the brother is still crying there he said okay take take the rod and, and split it because they're looking at something huge but they didn't have the spiritual strength the spiritual capacity to look at it and say i can just walk right into it so it required for a moses to stretch out his hand stretch out his rod and split the sea so that they can have faith to cross over have faith to cross over he needed moses to stretch out the rod so they can have faith to cross over but what if there was no moses what if there was no rod the command was still why are you crying ask them to go forward why are you crying ask them to go forward walk in child of god this is called the life of faith life of faith is not you waiting for god to do something and then you step out life of faith requires for you to say you jordan you have no power over me you cannot stop me because god has given this land to me so it is required for you to walk out the reason why many christians will never do exploits it's because they are waiting on god while god is waiting on them let me let me say that one more time the reason why many christians will never do exploits is because they are waiting on god while god is waiting on them so when you see somebody doing exploits you would think that they have a special kind of an assistance you are thinking that maybe they have a special you know god conversation where god used a walkie talkie and they said yes yes ah chalo ah parvana nahi chalo and then they chalo no 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 they took a step of faith and god honored their step of faith don't complicate this god don't what when the bible talks about enoch walking with god and then he wasn't because god took him away most people would imagine that and say oh you know cause so deep suddenly the cloud came the glory came and then he no 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 not none of that happened the glory didn't come but what happened was here is a man that decide to walk with god by faith he does not wait for god to come to him he begins to walk with god 
hear me the bible says what enoch walked with god does it say god walked with enoch ah ah therein lies the revelation why has so many people failed to walk with god like enoch walked with god because they are all expecting god to come huh in the evening and say come let's hold our hands and walk and then you you're walking with god in a park and then people write about you that you also walked with god like enoch did the reason for that ignorance is because you're not realizing that when enoch walked with god for the longest of time i i'll even go to say for over 300 years god did not walk with enoch i know what i'm talking about for many reasons we've been doing a series if you if you have our shajimati app you can go through it there's the kingship of enoch the ministry of enoch this is important for us to understand so the first 65 years there is no movement in enoch's life there is a birth that happens that triggers his desire to walk with god and then the next 300 years enoch spends his life walking with god it takes 3 centuries for god to look at this man and say are yaar this is not fair he doesn't quit he has not given up now it's time for me to walk with him Amen. it was 300 years oof 300 years of walking with God by faith where now God looks at Enoch and says okay enough now 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 come chalo let's go now you leave the earth huh and come let us walk together but for the first 300 years we are a generation where we are always looking for a reward we want something in return but enoch didn't have anything in return he didn't even get a prophecy huh he didn't get a prophet coming and saying yes my son i see you seeking me no 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 it was enoch's choice to withdraw from men and he consecrated himself in his own he found a secret place all that i have gone in detail on the word please take time to listen even as i'm speaking right now god is looking for inox of this generation they are not waiting for goosebumps they are not waiting for feelings they're going to look at the jordan and say i'm coming yeah. my brother what more are you waiting for my sister what more are you waiting for you you want god to speak from heaven huh you want god to what speak from heaven or are you going to get up and shine your light to rise and cause your light to shine brightly you don't need another prophecy 
you don't need another laying of hands god is challenging some of you to get up and walk forward god is looking at some of you and saying why are you crying tell them to go forward when you move forward you are now going to be part of the cloud of witness that went forward there were lions in the den daniel is like chalega and he walked right in there was fire they didn't run out is it no problem you want to throw us go ahead they walked right in they subdued kingdoms by faith enoch walked with god by faith they raised the dead by faith they did not worry about what people will think about them they did not care about the opinion of people they didn't care to wait for god to give them another confirmation they did not wait for god to tell them how what where who why abraham left his father's house by faith by faith it is impossible to please god without faith a little more louder it is impossible to please god without faith god is looking for you to step out there is things that stopped your father okay sometimes it's very embarrassing you don't want to talk about it because you're not proud of it the brokenness is so real that you've done everything to disconnect yourself from that and disassociate and stand far because you're like no 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 i can't i can't have this failure in my life and yet things that you have disassociated yourself from seems to now follow you hmm? it doesn't want to leave you spirits don't like leaving people alone you cannot expect egypt to leave you alone you cannot expect philistines to just walk away that is why victory is called a victory because they will not simply allow you to walk away spirits don't leave you alone they pursue you and pursue you and pursue you for a long time until they make sure that you know that the victory you have is final can i ask you are you are you greater than moses is your anointing greater than moses let's put it that way huh the man of god was really anointed very few people that carry that kind of an anointing okay if not for nobody at, at this point of time man of god is so anointed but how many times did he have to go to the pharaoh huh how many miracles did he have to do how many plagues did he have to bring until pharaoh finally let him go plague number 1 2 3 he didn't let him go until he lost his first born now even after the first born died pharaoh still came hunting him down This is how the enemy works. You are so upset that the devil is chasing you and God is not helping you. Do you think that the devil is going to give up fighting you so easy? Huh? You you did a prayer before going to sleep and you were already sleepy. You did you couldn't even focus in the 2 minute prayer you got distracted two times. and then you are upset that the devil is not leaving you and why is god allowing this you have to know your enemy 
the enemy is more hard working than believers what did i say the enemy is more hard working than the enemy will not give up demons from your father's house demons from your mother's house they are not going to give up pursuing you until you are able to draw a line and say enough is enough enough is and in order for you to draw that line sometimes it takes time for you to grow in your identity it takes time for you to grow in your identity to know who you are to know who you are sit down sit down the thing about this is sometimes when a man of god comes to you and he helps you to get a breakthrough it's a it's a little problem that means demon now knows she doesn't know who she is but the man of god knows who he is so the demon steps back because a man of god is now stepping on your behalf but the demon is now going to wait for a chance when you are now separated from the grace of god that delivered you in the first place the demon waits to re-enter because the demon says she doesn't know who she is she doesn't know what her authority is she doesn't understand the, her identity she doesn't know her role she doesn't know who she is so the enemy waits to re-enter and give you a tough time so until you know who you are until you know who you are in the realms of the spirit demons will not let you go until you know who you are every miracle that moses did was an escalation from the previous one every plague one became worse and worse and worse until the worst plague was released what is that killing the first born that is growth of identity he should have just started with the first born today he said bro i don't have time you wasted 430 years i'm finishing you this week identity identity god will sometimes go at your speed so when you see god moving you have to ask your question is this god speed or is this my speed that god is moving at everything that i speak i i want to make sure that you are understanding that it is from the scriptures if you look at the angel of the lord that was leading israelites to the promised land the bible says the angel left the forefront and came and stood at the back of the israelites in other words he's saying guys i have saved you from egypt whether you reach there in 10 days or 10 years it's up to you hello hello greetings to you from canada i am tini matthew i am so glad that we could meet you through this god tv program i know that as you just heard the word new hope has come into you new strength has come into you and you will rise and shine only believe in him and he will take you further write to us and let us know how these videos are impacting you we would love for you to join us through our social media platform as well don't forget to download the shaiju matthew app which is available both on ios and android until we meet again stay strong under the mighty hand of god we are praying for you god bless bless you and shalom distance is not a barrier to god revivenations.tv is now open to live participation to our services 